Hi, you guys. It's Karina. So I am back with another video tutorial, but this time it's a little walkthrough on how to download my SVGs um, when you purchase them off my website. Um, I do have one on my Shopify account. I did count months, months, months back that you can find here which honestly is kind of the same thing with Etsy if you're one of my Etsy clients. It's pretty much the same process. Um, but thankfully, um, my SVGs have been starting to pick up a lot here on Etsy. Um, and I've been getting a lot of questions of like, you know, they're not able to download the file or this and that or a little or you know some clients are just a little confused but once i walk them through it they're like oh okay i get it i forgot this so i just want to do this little walkthrough to help those of you out who do purchase my svgs and just need a little help so i did purchase my own template <laughs> just so I can show you what it's going to look like. So when you purchase any of my Etsy's on, or any of my SVGs on Etsy, you're going to have to provide your email address, okay? Um, so because that it means that they are Etsy, okay? So I personally don't send you the SVGs, you guys. Etsy um, will do that for me and they will send you an email with the SVG. Now there are times when, when clients say, well, I never got the email. Typically, I mean, I got mine right away. Um, if you don't, definitely check your junk mail because some people have said that it has been in their junk mail. Now, if you, for some reason, do not get the email from Etsy with the download of your SVG, please message me on Etsy and I will personally send you the SVG because there are cases where I don't know why Etsy does not send the email. I don't know why. But if that happens to you, please message me and I will personally send it to you. You're just going to have to uh, resend me in your email and then I will go ahead and do that for you. I'll look up your order and then I'll just resend um, the SVGs, okay? But let's get started. So as you can see, here is the screen and sorry if it's shaking because I'm holding the phone with my hand. Here is the purchase of Template 50. She's very popular, which is why I wanted to share with you guys um, how to save her. So here is my template 50 SVG. You are going to click here where it says file 50 SVG. Click on that. So now she is getting downloaded right over here. So I do have a MacBook. No, is that, is that a MacBook? No. What do you call iMacs, right? MacBook Pro is like the laptop. I don't know. <laughs> But I do have an Apple Mac. Um, and so as you can see, it's being downloaded right here. Do you see this little arrow right here? That means that it's being downloaded and which it was already downloaded. So then you're going to go and click on the download. So I'm going to go and click on it right here. It says open file and click on it. Now I'm clicking on it because I want to show you something because my clients get so confused on this part. They click on it and they're like, well, now what? Um, it's, you know, I'm not able to do anything with it. The directions are cut off. I, 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 they're a little bit lost right here. So from here, and, and I just do want to mention real quick, you guys, that under all my templates, under the descriptions, I do tell you, download first and then go to your cutting program and upload because if you just do this you're going to be so confused and this is this is just a download option okay because this means you're on the right track you downloaded it but now you are going to go to Cricut okay oops hold on let me get to a new canvas okay. So now you're gonna to go to either Cricut Design Space or Silhouette. And I say those two because those are mainly the most popular ones. I myself use pretty much Cricut Design Space. Silhouette, I do as well. I do have a video tutorial on my YouTube channel on how I upload to my Silhouette as well. If you wanna take a look back at that video, I made it months, months ago. But anyways, here we go. So now you're going to go to Upload right over here click on upload you're going to upload the image you are going to browse okay 
if it's going to open up for me. Oh, there we go. She's, she's loading. She's thinking. So when you go to browse, now I'm going to go to my downloads because remember that is where the file went. It went to downloads and I am going to look for her and she's right here at F50 SVG. Click on her. Okay. And now open her up. And again, this is for any of my SVGs. Even my template 49 has been very popular. You're gonna do exactly the same steps. There you go. She popped up. Now, sorry you guys, I know not the best video quality over here. I just wanted to make this real quick. Go to upload, okay? And voila, there she is. Click on her and go to add to canvas. And voila, there she is. Now, notice she is attached. And also notice all the directions are shown now. Remember in that download, it was cut off. Yes. And that is because in the program that I created her, there's like a certain box where you're only allowed to do the SVG. And if you go a little bit from that box, it just cuts it off for some reason when you download it. But once you upload it, you will get everything. So here she is. Now you are going to ungroup her. You know, I'm so over Cricut, you know, kind of changing up their little icons all the time. But here's the ungroup button now. And now you have ungrouped the directions from the petals. From here, you are going to change the measurement. So here it says you're only changing the height. That's all we're doing. So that means you're gonna go up here where it says height. It says green 1.6. So you're gonna go to the height and adjust to 1.6 and you have resized her. Go to the pink, says two, you will go up here. Only the height because as you can see, the width is already changing and voila, you are done. Oh no, sorry, oh, I shrunk her. Okay, <laughs> there you go. So we are done. You're gonna delete that part because we don't need that anymore. Now, from here, well, Karina, how many do you need? My loves, I say it specifically in the directions in when you when you purchase this template under the description i tell you please watch the video tutorial and i will explain to you how many you need of each okay i always do i always tell you how many so for this one i'm going to tell you that you are going to need eight so then you are just going to select her and duplicate and the video tutorial for template 50 can be found on my youtube channel i don't even know if i did the exact amount but i'm just showing you and then this one you're going to need um typically i do 20 so again in the video tutorials i'm going to tell you exactly how many petals you're going to need of each and that's it you guys you're done save her copy her and if you're curious to see what my template 50 looks like let me move you over here to my messy desk and it is this cutie right here, the roses on the bottom. Those are my template 50. And then template 49 are these cuties, which has also been very popular on my Etsy channel. So I just wanted to show you that guys that because I feel like some of you get overwhelmed and there's no need to be overwhelmed because honestly, it's super easy to download and upload to your cutting programs. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. And again, if you have any, any, any questions, please message me. I always try to reply very quickly. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.